up on how to use Google Earth to make a map for your project. The first thing you uh, need to do, if you haven't done it already, is to download Google Earth. And what I recommend doing is searching for it in the uh, Google search bar. <clears throat> and then opening uh, the link that says www.google.com slash earth and then downloading the older version uh, which is Earth Pro on desktop. It's a very powerful free software for making maps and doing a number of other things. So you just hit the download button and install it. I've already done that and opened it up. And here it is. If I want to make um, a map for my project. I find my project area. Let's say I did Little Cottonwood Canyon for my project. And I put my points down for the different places I may have visited. So here is the Geologic View Park. I can put a little point there and write whatever you want, something like stop one. GK Gilbert Park. You can even add a description or notes if you want. There's even uh, places on here to add uh, internet links or web images or local images if you want to get fancy. But it's not necessary. There's also a place here uh, right next to the name that you can add, change the style of your pin mark so you can make it a tree or a boat or whatever. And then you click OK once you got it placed. If you need to move the location for whatever reason, you right click on the place that you made uh, in your places bar here. And you click on properties. And you can move it around as you need to. And then you can click OK again to set it in place. <clears throat> and if you want to, you can also add a um, kind of a path that you took. And that would be this button right here. It says Add Path. And it works the same way as the little pin uh, points. And you kind of just like drag it along, uh, whatever path you may have taken. And then you let go when you're done. And you can write what it is. Path to Quarry in this case. And you click OK. And it sets your path. And you can modify the colors and stuff on that just like you did. So here's the Little Cottonwood Creek, and here's the quarry. Um, so you can add a little pin for that. Let's say stop to quarry. And then you say OK. So that gives you an idea of how to add little points using the um, Add Place Mark button, and how to add a path. And you can get the uh, image just the way you like it, and then you and hit File, Save, and then Save Image. And when you do that, a number of little things pop up, which are some of the requirements I have for your map in your final report. You have your title here, so you can add a title. Uh, little Cottonwood Geology 1010 self-guided trip <clears throat> and now you have all of the components you need for your map and here you can see you can set your uh, turn things on and off here and uh, change your configuration change your resolution and then finally here's your up here here's your save image button you just click that and it will open up a dialog and you can save it where you need to and map. we'll call it map and then it should be on desktop here yep as a jpeg and there's your beautiful map a very professional looking uh, high-end map of your field area and the stops you picked you can do a number of maps if you feel like your field area is very large and confusing but this definitely satisfies the requirement for your report. Hopefully that uh, cleared things up, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you. Bye.